The signs, wonders, and miracles come. Give God the glory. I will hear it in the next 60 years. 300 people went up that mountain with lanterns and they slayed a whole army. They're standing up and taking God at His word. If you want signs, I'll give you signs. We can see that God is with you. Last week, uh I was dead. The day, the week before, I was dead. Today, I'm fine in the name of Jesus. Okay, and let the people just hear. And I can't stand. I must say, since last Saturday, I was standing and I was dancing to the Lord. <laughs> All the way from Pretoria, cancer in the vagina, cancer in the anus. God has healed us. Hallelujah. That's a miracle. That's a miracle. She came the previous Saturday. God touched her. She came last Saturday. God touched her more. And tonight she's healed. Amen. And next Tuesday I'm going to chemotherapy. And, I'll, and I'm going to come back next week. The machine's going to say I was nothing. Yes. Amen. I was nothing. What a miracle. So, so is there anything too big for our God? No. no. So I don't care what you are in need of tonight. God is more than able Amen. to do exceedingly, abundantly, far above all that you can think or pray for. We serve a great, big, and a wonderful God. Amen. Well, praise God. Come on, but... Tonight we thank you, Eternal Father, that you are such a great God, such a mighty God. We worship you, we praise you, and we exalt you. There is none like unto the God that we serve. Stick your hand up and say, Vere Heere, dank for sy goedheid, sy grootheid, sy nabijheid. Bless you, Lord. We worship you, we praise you, we glorify thy holy name. Tonight as we lift up holy hands, we declare that the God we serve is in this house tonight ready to perform miracles ready to perform miracles to heal the sick and to set people free from slavery from bondages in Jesus name I want every single person in this house that struggle with either you taking drugs that means you taking headache pills any type of drugs you smoke nicotine or you drink kaps of wijn voor die gaan slaap staan op your foot die Heer wil jou vry maak in the name of Jesus Christ of name. Let me get my hands on you. Anointing to break the yoke in Jesus' name. Smaak jylle vry nou in die naam van die Heere. Smaak jylle vry in Jesus' naam. Vry in die... Vat oom. Vry in die naam van die Heere Jesus. Greep, tante. Jy staan net by jou maan. Ha, 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 Jy moet doekies gooi, nou begin jy lach. Sa iemand, kom jy help, lapies. Well, you want to come out with lapis? Yeah. 
zal iemand die lapjes komen op jou? Kom help ons met die lapjes. Lee onder haar. Zal iemand die lapjes komen op jou? Een lapje? Kom je help ons lapjes kom. Kijk hoe braaf is zij. Ik zal niks werk komen. Zal iemand ons komen helpen met lapjes? <laughs> Wat zie je? Woe! Je bezoeker is, depressieve tijd is zonde, lach is niet. Jullie zijn zo ernstig. Ik zal niks met jullie doen. Nie. Lach je. Ja. Het jaar gelach in die kerk. Ik deed je voor een lapje voor hen toe. Kom Tina, hak uit. Hallo. Zij lijkt je ma met haar uitlag. Stiek je vingers zo naar je ma toe. Zij lacht ma. Tot voor toe. Lieve Vader, ons dank je dat hier die mensen vanavond vrijkomen. In Jezus' naam. Is je rijdt let aan, ja? Hoe rijdt u ook wel eens? ons breek je maar. Wie moest de camera afgewerkt hier? Wie is het? Charlotte? Is het Charlotte? Moet jij niet die mensen afnemen? Nie? Nou leer je op je grond. Weet je wat neem je af? Een stuk blauw mat. Als ons die ding wil redigeren, dan zien we onze blauwe mat. <laughs> Weet je wat gebeurt? God is bezig om die macht te breken voor die mensen. This is what, that's why the joy came into the house. God is busy breaking the power of addiction. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Ja, het is lekker. Het is lekker. Ik zou niet lijken, ik moet zo lachen, Charlotte. Ik denk maar dat ik camera voor iemand geef. Babs, los die boord. Net voor die dienst toe sê ek, ek wonen van een lachie mense weer in die kerk. Weet hulle die hele week laas gelag. Ok, you ready to be free? Ready to be set free. Ready to be set free. Reg om vry te kom. Reg om, wat vind jy jou arm? Gebreek. Ah. Vrij in die naam van die Heer. Ons breek die macht van verslaving nou. In die naam van die Heer ons maak hulle vry. Vrij. Vrij in Jesus naam. Vrij, 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 vrij. Free, I'll set you free in Jesus name. In. Hup. God is healing you. God is healing you. I see a healing taking place here in the bottom of your stomach area. I 
see a healing inside of your womb in Jesus name I see a healing in your lower back all weakness and pains will go in Jesus name I see headaches that come and go come and go come and go and you get stressed up and God is setting you free tonight you love the Lord I see you love Jesus but you're hunger you you're so hungry for more you're so hungry for more Tonight you came into this house. God says, daughter, I'm setting you free. I'm healing you. I'm delivering you. Every organ will be straightened out tonight. Every organ will function normally. You've come for healing. And God says, this is what you'll go away with. Healed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Is that true? Is that true? Is that all true? Vry in die naam van Heere, ek breek die mag van nikotien, breek het, maak hulle vry in Jesus naam, ek breek hierdie mag, ek maak hierdie twee mense van naam vry, 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 maak hulle vry in die naam van Jesus, maak hulle vry in die naam van Heere Jesus, vry in Jesus naam, 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 vry, 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 vry in Jesus naam. Vijf jaar. Het je pijn in hem? Nee, geen pijn in hem. Groei je niet aan je? Groei aan je infecties. Mooi. Platen en platen. Je nog klant ons. Al dertien operaties gehad. Elke infectie zal vanavond beginnen opdroog. Dertien operaties. Vijf jaar. Vijf jaar. Vijf jaar is hier je arm gebrek. Krijg niet die infectie gestopt niet. Hij loopt hier met allerhande machine en goed is op zijn arm rond. Hij wordt niet gezond niet. Maar vanavond zal hij gezond worden. Ed, wil jij niet veel vertellen wat met jou gebeurt donderdag? Ja, geef hem een mic, terwijl ik mijn aan op hier ouwe leer. Ik heb een rugprobleem. Uh, en ik heb uh, met die profeet gepraat. Onder, hij is on, on, ontzettend onder druk en spanning gehad met zijn eerste en zijn probleem. Maar dan weet je niet hoe genadig God is. Hij is bij mij gekomen, hij heeft niet eens gebed. Niet. S'nachts nog twee van mijn bijbelstudenten of vrienden van ons, wat samen met ons bijbelstudenten is, was samen met mijn woning. En die profeet het mijn voeten op, het mij gezegd, ik moet zitten, mijn voeten opgeteld. Mijn rechterbeen was een duim en een half korter als mijn linkerbeen. En zo zie je een bijbelstudent gezegd, man, hij heeft niet eens gespoeg of geniks niet. Hij heeft hem net zo so gehouden en hij heeft gezegd, kijk, het wordt rechtheid. En het absoluut rechtheid geworden en die pijn is weg. Hoeveel operaties het je gehad? Hij heeft drie rugoperaties gehad. En toen begin alles, nou een paar weken terug, begin alles terug, kom al die symptomen is terug, al die pijn is terug, alles is terug. En hij, hij weet dat hij weet, dit is wat moet gebeuren, nog een operatie. Ik zeg van, no way, en God maakt me een oomblik gezond. En een oomblik. God be all the glory. Die moedeloosheid, die depressie en die neerslachtigheid gaan. Nou, in Jesus naam. Die laat bloedsuikerprobleem wordt opgelost. Die wat je zo moeg en beverig voelt van tijd tot tijd, het stopt nou, in Jesus naam. Al die twak gedachtes wat bij je komt aanklop, stop nou, in die naam van die Heer. Zijn al gevecht in moedeloosheid. Die voel je wel met je kop in een mier vast hard loop. Ek hoor hoe je jezelf sê, wat maak ik hier? God sê, hy het jou hier gesit, omdat hij het doel met jou op hierdie aarde het. The healing is bringing forth tonight. Nou, wat gaat hy? Oof. Is lekker, hè? Power here, brother. Come, Dries. You have almost seen three miracles. Okay, come, brother. Bless you, Lord. You know, from Hatfield Christian Church, a pastor, and God did for him. He said, "I saw a sickness, but set your hand up, set your covers. Can let here anointing on you to go now." Bless Allah. Bless Allah. Touch of God. 
Touch of God. Hij is gezond en hij gaat over ziekens kan bid. <laughs> well, glory. <laughs> right? Kom van ons bijbels, ons moet kerk hou hier van het heen. Maar ons hou kerk. <laughs> this kerk die, I mean, is lekkerder as om te sit in vol hart vir die eer, tot die einde toe gemeen, tot die... My vrou het te voorstel, sy sê, sy denk ek moet begin preek. <laughs> ha! Well, tonight. <laughs> Proverbs declare, laughter doeth good like medicine. Amen. Yeah. The writers of the Proverbs declare, laughter doeth good like medicine. Laughter doeth good like medicine. <laughs> Three times daily before meals, or when needed. Ek wens, ek wens, jylle allemaal kan net vir oomlik een beerd maak om hier voor te staan. Dra my das saam met elke las. Collecte sak sal my nog knak Het lekker geslaap Toe die kansel praat Nou is ek bly nog Het dienst is voorbij Maar kan nog nie lach he. Ek het nog nie kracht he. Kan nie lach he, Want hulle sê ek mag nie So naar gevoel Op jou sierlimoenstoel Toe ek jong was, het daar ou gesing, sy naam was Trini Lopez, hy het een liedje gesing, Lemon Tree. En dit was nie geskryf uit Johannes 15 uit nie. Jesus is the true vine, not the true lemon. I wish more people would enjoy church. For just one dose of a Holy Ghost, not enough for me. I said, now nah, just one dose of a Holy Ghost, not enough for me. One dose. Not enough for me. Right, get your Bibles. Paul means like Beatrice, two minutes later. Ek het gedoog een paar ouders gaan een stress aanval in die kerk krijg vanavond. En hulle lijkt nou al heel wat beter. Ek 
ik kan maar lachen, zie ze onder niet. Als je zo een nou, jong. <laughs> Als die oma's nou begin lachen, gaan we glad. <laughs> Zij lag zo female bij. <laughs> well, I just sense that God has been speaking to us lately, especially the past couple of weeks, on the fact that there's got to be signs, wonders, and miracles in the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. A church without signs and wonders is only half a church. Tessa, begin jij ook nou. Ik ben zo rijd als je je haren van blond naar zo even licht rooi maakt, maar van blond naar pak zwart. Ik kom even die school en ik zeg, morgen dames, zoek je weg. Ze zeggen, ik werk al vijf jaar bij je school. Ik zeg, excuus. Ik moet beginnen, mijn vrouw. Oké, okay, mijn vrouw. Dus ik kom die hier voor de pastoor, zoals ik een vrouw geef. Ze heeft nu al zeven keer van aan, ik moet beginnen. En ik heb dat nog elke keer geïgnoord. Als... <laughs> huh? <laughs> Wat laat jij het gaan? Ik weet niet hoe staan, ik weet niet hoe doen ze wat ze doen. Zij <lacht> slurpelen zo. <lacht> en dat is baie goed voor zwanger vrouwen soms. Om so te, so uit te haak. En dat is dit, hy baby springt soos Johannes die doop op en af. Wat zit hij baby? Maak alles samen zo. Bless wie je won. Zeg ze een zwaar oerbellen draaien, maar ik kop ook zo zak. Okay, I just sense we should go to Isaiah 7. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 7. Isaiah chapter 7. What I'm going to touch on tonight, I've touched on about a month ago, a month and say five weeks ago. But I just sense this is what God wants to say to the church. Okay, we're going to read out of the Amplifier because it comes over loud. Veertig jaar terug moest die kerk zeker verschrikkelijk gesukkelen. Weet je, toen ik tot bekering gekomen het zo so dertig jaar terug, toen zingen hulle, Gee my kracht, elke dag, hou my trouw. Toen kijk ze zien, is net oude mensen. Gewoon hulle sing hy liede nie. Maar ik blij dat een paar jong mensen in die kerk gekom. Dank je dan. If I take your Bible, we, we're really going to preach the word. Don't get in a hurry. God's going to do mighty miracles tonight. Amen. I tell you, people are going to walk out here healed by the power of Almighty God. If you've got a sickness in your body, this is the time to get healed. If you're longing for miracles, you can walk out here tonight and you can also perform miracles. It's not just to experience the miracles, it's to go out and do the miracles. The more people that can do the miracles, the more people will be healed. I tell you, in those last two weeks, I tell you, it's like God is just turning it up. And that's why I want to touch on this again tonight. Amen. Okay, Isaiah chapter 7, verse 10. Moreover, the Lord spoke again to King Ahaz, saying, Ask for yourself a sign. I, I tell you, I can't get away from this. 
God is saying to the king, ask, ask for a sign. I want to start off right at the outset of this meeting tonight. This is not some preacher talking. This is Almighty God. God is saying to the king, why don't you ask me for a sign? So God wants to give signs to people. God wants to do wonders and miracles in the lives of people and in every situation. So God is saying to the king, ask of me a sign. Now, I want you to look at the Amplified. Just read verse 11. Ask for a sign. Ask for a sign. A token. A token. Or proof. Or a proof. Of the Lord your God. Yeah. One that will convince you. One that will convince you. That God has spoken. And will keep his word. God is saying to the king. You can ask me for a sign. You can ask me for a token. You can ask me for a proof. You can ask me for something that will convince you. That I the Lord has spoken rest Peter ask it either in the depth below so you can go down to hell and ask it from there or in the height above you can go up to heaven and ask it from there let it be as deep as Sheol or as high as heaven God is saying there's no restrictions there's no boundaries you can go as far as you want to, you can go as low as you want to. But I tell you, if you ask me for a sign, a token, or a proof that will convince you that I, the Lord, has spoken, I will give you such a yes, sign. Amen. And we're too scared to ask God for signs. Oh, no, 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 no. No, you want to hear of a proof, anybody? You want to hear of a proof, anybody? Oh. You want to hear of Gideon gesê, Heer, het moet daar reen, en dan moet het daar reen, en dan moet het daar reen, en Heer is al reed, reen, reen, reen. Nee bro, maar nou het ons die heilige geest, ons moet nie nou tekens vraag nie. Sê wie? Is God's word changing day by day? Or is God the same yesterday, today, and forever? Does Malachi 3 verse 6 says, I am the Lord and I change not? Or is God forever changing? God is saying to Ahaz, if you ask me a sign, if you ask me a token, if you ask me a proof, something that will convince you. I tell you there's people that are still not convinced. There's a lady that's been healed of two cancers last week. There's my boy that died by falling on his head on Wednesday. He's alive. There's people sitting here right now that's still not convinced. So the king said, I will not tempt God and I will not ask for a sign. That's verse 12. The king said, no God, I will not ask for a sign. Then God comes in the next verse and says, but I will give a sign. Read it, Peter. And Isaiah said, hear then, O house of David, is a is it a small thing for you to weary and try the patience of men? But will you weary and try the patience of my God also? Therefore, the Lord himself shall give now you a sign. Now listen and listen carefully. This guy's no, 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 no. We cannot tempt God with signs and wonders and miracles and powers. God says. Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Okay, just there. The Lord the Lord God Almighty. Listen, people, I want to, in, to challenge you tonight. The Lord will, if you want to sign or not, I'm going to give you a sign in any case. The Lord God Almighty will give. Yes, will give amen. you a sign. Will give you a token. Yes. Will give you a proof yes. that will convince you that God has spoken. In other words, that His word is true. Yes, amen. Read. Behold, the young woman who is unmarried and a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel, God with us. God says, ask me for a sign. Ask me for a token. Ask me for a proof that will convince you that I, the Lord, has spoken. Or, in other words, that my word is true. 
Isaiah 55, 11 says, So shall my word be that proceeded from my mouth. It shall do what I have sent it for and be prosperous therein, and it will not return unto me void. Psalm 107, verse 20 said, He has sent His word to heal them and deliver them from all destruction. John 1, verse 1 through 14 says, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Everything that was made was made by Him, and without Him was nothing made that was made. Verse 14 says, And this word... became flesh God in man God in man the word became flesh Emmanuel equals the word is now in flesh the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. Verse 14. And we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, filled with grace and mercy. Now the Bible says, this is the sign. If you want it or not, I'm going to give it to you. The sign is Emmanuel. God is now with us. And this is the greatest sign that any person can desire on this earth. The sign is not the healing. The sign is not the power. The sign is not the glory. That's attributes of the sign. But if you want a sign, Emmanuel. When we visited Synagogue Church of All Nations in Lagos, Nigeria with Prophet T.B. Joshua nearly two years ago and they picked us up at the airport they stopped there with a bus and everybody that greeted us said Emmanuel Emmanuel, Emmanuel. There's three, four guys there. Emmanuel. I said, why don't they say hello? Why don't they say peace? Why don't they say hi? Emmanuel, Emmanuel. We're here from South Africa. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Can these people say anything else? Emmanuel, Emmanuel. So we arrived there the Tuesday night at 9 o'clock. The Wednesday morning at 4 o'clock, the six started, started coming in. And everybody greeted everybody else with Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Here by 11 o'clock, I tell you, every, the, we had about 10 testimonies already of people that's been healed of cancer, cripples that walked, lame people that jumped up. And one after the other, miracles started happening and people started testifying about the greatness and the goodness and the kindness of God. And God is working and God is working and God is working. I said, why do everybody say Emmanuel? So they started testifying. The guy said, well, before I testify, can we have three Emmanuels? Anybody? Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. And I said, what's this Emmanuel? So I looked at it, and God started speaking to me. He said, Emmanuel is the greatest sign, token, proof, that can convince people that God has spoken. The sign is Emmanuel. God is with us. So every time they say Emmanuel, they say a sign, a token, a proof to convince people that God spoke. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, a sign, a token, a proof to convince people that God spoke. The Word became flesh. Emmanuel, God is with us. Acts chapter 2. And you can read that in Matthew 1, where the angel appeared to Joseph and said, Don't put Mary away, but take her as your wife. For she shall bear a son and call his name Jesus, and he shall save his people from their sin. And this is a sign. The virgin shall conceive and bear a child. And this is the sign. His name shall be called Emmanuel, meaning God is worth us. I tell you, if you want to sign, get God with you. Get God with you. Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2. Wonderful Jesus. Now, Jesus was crucified. Emmanuel came. They crucified him. They didn't want him. They crucified him. They did not want God with them. All of a sudden, the greatest sign of all times is there. God is finally amongst people. 
And they said, no, we don't want God with us. So they crucified him. But just before they crucified him, Jesus said, hey, 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 they're going to take one out of the way. And the one that made me that, I'm going to send him. Yeah. So you must be happy that I'm now going. Then the one that made me that, I'm going to send him there because the fullness of the God who dwelt bodily in Christ Jesus and we have this fullness in him. So be glad that I go because I will send you another comfort to the Holy Spirit, the one that made me, Emmanuel. And once he come, then it will not just be me that is now the word that's flesh. It's not just me that will carry God around. It's not just me that will cause God to be with you. Now, Peter, it's going to be you. James, it's going to be you. John, it's going to be you. Bartholomew, it's going to be you. Thaddeus, it's going to be you. Paul says, before I was born, this is what I was made for. To reveal God to the world. He said, and you know what? When I came to you, you received me as an angel, comma, no, you received me as God himself because you realized it was God in me. Right. Emmanuel. Right. This is the sign. And then the outflow of the sign. So Jesus was crucified, promised him the Holy Spirit, received the Holy Spirit, poured it out on the church. Peter stood up and he preached. Verse 22. Ye men of Israel, listen to what I have to say. This is now Peter after he received the Holy Spirit preaching on the day of Pentecost. You men of Israel, listen to what I have to say. Jesus of Nazareth, a man... Whew, you got to read it to me, Peter. A Jesus of Nazareth, a man... Accredited. Listen, listen. Accredited. And pointed out. Pointed out. Shown forth. Shown forth. And commended. And commended. And attested, Woo! attested to yeah. you by God, by the mighty works and the power of by the mighty works and the power of performing and the power of performing wonders, wonders and signs and signs Woo! which God has worked through Him right in your midst. <laughs> Ask for a sign. Ask for a token, ask for a proof. Ask for anything that will convince you that God spoke and that His word is true. No, 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 we want to lie. God says, hey, wait, I'm going to give you a sign. If you want it or not, the sign is Emmanuel. The word that will convince you will now become flesh. Don't miss one word. The word that will convince you that God spoke and that signs, tokens will be approved is this word will now become flesh. Then we will say, Emmanuel. God is with us. Peter preaches. He said, you have crucified Jesus, a man that was accredited. That's his CV. Pointed. Shown. Commended. Attested. With mighty works and power and wonders. Come on. And signs that God wrought by him. Now Peter goes on. He says, this Jesus you have crucified. Yeah. Verse 32 says, but this Jesus has God raised up from the dead. Verse 33 says, Be, being therefore lifted high by and to the right hand of God and having received from the Father the promised blessing, which is the Holy Spirit, he has made this outpouring, which you yourselves both see and here, Woo. he says, so you have crucified him, the one that was accredited, the man, Emmanuel, the one that is called God with us, the one who is the sign, the token, the proof that will convince people that God is finally here. This is the only way God can convince people, Emmanuel. The only way he can convince us is God with us. And that word, God made flesh, Emmanuel. So he's now with us. And God accredited him. God pointed him out. God shown him forth. God has commended him. 
God has attested him with mighty works and power and wonders and signs. But you crucified him. Tough luck, baby. God raised him up from the dead. And after he received the promise of the Holy Spirit, he has now poured it out. What you now see and what you now hear. So sorry that you've crucified him. He was alone. Now there's 120 of us. Hallelujah. Watch out, baby. Tomorrow we're going to be 3,000. Watch out, man. We're going to be 7,000. Watch out, man. The whole earth will be filled with the glory of the Lord. I tell you, the day is coming and it's arriving very soon where people are going to realize Emmanuel. 1 Corinthians and 14 says, and they will come and say, we can see that God is with you. They will come and say, we can see that God is with you. Now they, oh, this is a lekker kerk. Ons hou van julle selgroepen. Ons hou van julle worship. Ons hou van die postuur. Ons hou van die kerk. But what about, can we say, God is in the back. Come on. There's so many visitors here tonight. Who, how many has said this? Hey, something. Don't be ashamed. Who came to me and who said to me, hey, he's eating in the back. What say you? What say you? People come to me and say, God is in the back. What they're actually saying is, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. We can experience God is worth you. Because God accredited, pointed, shown, commended, attested the Emmanuel sign with works, power, wonders, and signs. So if this is not there, then he's not there. If this is not there, he is not there. Kom eens, wil jij zeggen, God is niet in mijn kerk niet? No, no, no. But yes. But no, but yes. O perke en en dalen en over al is God waar ons ook telke male mag zwerven dat is God is all over omniscient omnipresent all knowing he knows everything he is all over but in manifest presence He's not all over. How do you know that, Kubus? Well, in Exodus 3, there was a bush that was burning on a mountain. And there was a guy attending the sheep of his father-in-law, Jethro. And he saw the bush, and I come to Skirach. <laughs> What's happening? He's carpeted. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I'll let Chair Moses on and say, Hanchek, 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 Bay. So Moses come to Skirach now, and all of a sudden God said to you, Moses, Let's just make it short. God said, Moses, go take my children, lead them out of Egypt. I will be with you. In Exodus, God said it again in Exodus 23, in Exodus 24, in Exodus 24, I'm with you. I'm with you. In Exodus 33, Moses saw God in all his glory. God and Moses had a face-to-face -face experience. And Moses said, oh God, if I take your people, who will you send with us? And God said, Moses, 
Do you want me to personally go with you? Moses, do you want me to personally go with you? Exodus 33 and verse 16. Moses said, Oh Lord. Hey. God says, Moses, I will grant you this request. I myself will go with you. But on the outside, they will just see me as a pillar of fire and as a cloud. But it's actually me that's there, but I'm covering myself with clouds. And at nighttime, the fire of my presence will shine through so it'll look like a pillar of fire. But it's still the same cloud. At daytime, when the sun is shining, you can't see the fire because the cloud is too thick. It looks like a cloud. But it's actually, I'm with you. And Moses said, if God is not with us, let us not go from here. He said, but if God is with us, this will be the only sign. Read it for us. Just that one verse, Peter. For by what shall it be known? Listen. By what shall it be known? That I and your people have found favor in your sight. Okay. What is the sign? Look here. Can we enter the block? You check. What is the sign? What is the token? What is the proof that will convince people that God spoke to us? Okay? Is it not in your going with us? Is it not that God is with us? So that we are distinguished? Listen, that we are distinguished. That we are distinguished. I and your people from all the other people upon the face from of the all earth. From all the other people on the face of the earth. Lord, how will it be known that we are different from other people? Will it not be in this one thing that God is with us? Come on, people, don't look too shocked. But what makes one church different than another church? The worship? No, you get used to worship quickly. The preaching? No, you get used to preaching quickly. What makes one church? Why is it that people point fingers at churches? What is the thing that will cause people to talk about a certain church? There's only one thing. That'll make you a church that people will point fingers at, that people will gossip about, that people will backbite, that people will slander. Only one thing that'll distinguish you to be different from all the other churches. It's signs, wonders, miracles. So that is the token that God is with you. They don't write about preachers talking in tongues. They don't write about preachers laying hands on people. They don't write about preachers prophesying. They don't write about preachers marrying people or burying people. But broer, broer, create out the roll stool and I'm all proud for you. And they'll eerst that bit good mark and then they'll nail you. Why? Because all of a sudden you're different. And if they talk good about the miracles, then they've got to start performing to look good as well. So they rather start, try and see what they can say wrong about you so that they won't look so bad. And one group of people say, Oh Lord, we want it. The other group says, It must be Satan. God knows why I've got to preach this. God, whereby shall it be known? That we are distinguished from all the other people. Will it not be in the fact that God is with us yeah. with signs, Amen. with wonders, Amen. with miracles? Right. When Caleb and Joshua came to spy on the land, and 40 years later, the other spies came to spy on the land because they had to dwell in the desert for 40 years to get rid of the unbelieving generation when the next generation came to Canaan and walked in there 
the people got a hold of them and said, we heard about you, how God has done this miracles, how God has wrought this power, how God has brought this science, and the whole nation is already trembling because you are distinguished from all the other people on the face of the earth because we can see that God is with you. I'm preaching this for you. I'm preaching this for me. I'm preaching this for our nation. Isn't it time that we can have more miracles? God is with us. A Red Sea open. A Jordan River open. Bread fall from heaven. Meat fly and fall on the ground. Signs, God is with us. John the Baptist was the cousin to the Lord Jesus Christ. They played together as little boys. They were cousins, man. Mary and Elizabeth loved one another. So Jesus and John must have grown up together. Huayin Kleilat, they in the flay. Growing up together. John grew up to be the forerunner to prepare the way in the desert. Right. So one day he was baptizing at the Jordan River. Preaching to the Pharisees and Sadducees. Why are you running away from the wrath of God? How do you think you can escape by being baptized, baptized, baptize the people unto repentance, baptize. All of a sudden John stopped. <laughs> Pointed his finger at the masses of people and said, Behold, the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. Here comes Jesus out of the crowd. Yeah. Baptize me, John. He said, no, no, no. <laughs> no, it's you that should baptize me. No, John, baptize me. And I hope I'll get the time to preach this message to you one day. Baptize me, John, so that all righteousness might be for that is a sermon I've got to preach sometime. Amen. Baptize me, John, so that all righteousness may be fulfilled. Remember Hebrews 1 9. How God anointed Jesus Christ above his fellow men because he hated unrighteousness and loved righteousness. Baptize me, John. No, no, Jesus, baptize me. No, no, John. Baptize me so that all righteous. And when I baptized him, the voice spoke to me and said, The one on whom you see the Spirit descend and stay on him, it is he that will baptize with the Holy Ghost and with fire. And John said, I saw the heavens open, the Holy Spirit coming down in bodily form like a dove, and a voice spoke, said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. John said, Hey, I was. I saw, yeah. I heard, I came, and I went. Amen. This is him. So John said, that's a lamb. That's a lamb of God. He, he takes away, the, he's going to take away the sin. Uh, hey, Jesus, why didn't you tell me, man? <laughs> I mean, now you wait till you come here. Yo, Jesus, why didn't you just tell me, man? Yeah. Now I'm standing here, man, you, and here you come, God in the flesh. Oh, Jesus, man, why didn't you just tell me? Why didn't you just inform me? Lamb of God, Emmanuel, <laughs> Jesus. A couple of weeks later, John is in prison, sends his disciples to Jesus, ask him the question, Matthew, 1, Matthew 11, verse 2. Send his disciples. The disciples came, say, Jesus, John sent us to ask you, are you the one, Emmanuel, that was to come? Or should we expect another one to come? Yeah. Jesus said, why don't you just go back to John and tell him what you see and what you hear. The lame walk, the blind see, yes. the yes. cripples run, yes. the deaf hear, yes. the dead are raised, 
and the gospel is being preached. So they came back to John. They said, John, we came to Jesus and we asked him, is he Emmanuel or isn't he Emmanuel? Is this the one? Or should we? And he said, go tell John, you see signs, wonders, and miracles. John said, it's him. <coughs> Thank you, Jesus. God is with us. Kubasa, you're not coming down on churches. No, I didn't say anything about other churches. I just said, whereby shall the church be distinguished to being different from all other? Get some signs, wonders, and miracles. And when the signs, wonders, and miracles come, give God the glory. I tell you when, when God raised up Petrus on Wednesday, and I stood there, I said, God, it's not my good prayer. It's not the way I fell on him. It's not the way I pumped his heart. It's not the way I called on the name of Jesus. I stood there and I said, thank you for your grace. Your mercy, Lord, I don't want to take this and say, oh, I did, I did, I said, God brought my son back to life again. God restored him to life, and God's going to restore him totally in Jesus' name. Isn't it time to walk in a rhythm of miracles? God's not dead, no. God's not dead. He's alive. God's not dead. He is alive. Feel it in my hand. Feel it. Feel him all over me. This is this near more leaky for a year spanning. It's actually a confession. I said, God's not dead. He's alive. Amen. And the only way that he can give you a sign and a token and a proof to convince you that he has spoken is with the fact that Emmanuel is God with us, accredited, pointed, shown forth, commended, attested with mighty works, power, wonders, and signs. Oh, it was a lack of deans. Was good all. Was it lack of swim up from all? Was it like a computer game? So gespeel, gespeel. It's a good meeting. It's God there. What happened? Oh, they would pass up for die hours, yo. Die hours, but so, so they crack a wag fat. Let God die hours held for it. Judges six, and we're closing. Well, let this word fall in the hearts of people here tonight. The children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord and the Lord delivered them into the hands of Midian for seven years and the hand of Midian prevailed against Israel and because of the Midianites the children of Israel were ma made them dens which are in the mountains and caves and strongholds look this way the children of Israel made dens caves and hideaways in the mountains to run away and hide the children of Israel were hiding in the mountains to get away from the Midianites. Verse 11. Now the angel of the Lord came and sat under the oak at Ophrah, which belonged to Joaz. And his son, Gideon, was beating wheat in the winepress to hide it from the Midianites. Because this thing has been preached out of context for 2,000 years. Oh, while Gideon was hiding in the wine press, the angel came and said, Oh, no, no, no. The Bible says the children of Israel was hiding, but Gideon was protecting the wheat, and he was hiding it. Eat the wheat 
from the Midianites yeah. while the whole of Israel was in the mountains hiding Gideon stood in the wine press with a sword in his hand and he said let one Midianite come against this weak man and he was hiding he said I'm, I'm standing on God Amen. and he looked around he was all alone the rest of Israel was in the mountains the only one that was not hiding was Gideon. Yeah. It's funny how the preachers say Gideon was hiding. Yeah. And not the Afrikaans, not the English, not the Amplified, not the Tuana, not the Koza, not the Greek Bible says it. And the Lord appeared, verse 12. The Lord appeared to him and said to him, The Lord is with you, you mighty man of fearless courage. King James said, Thou mighty man of valor. The Afrikaans said, The Yere is met you, dapper held. It wasn't a positive confession. God said, You're the only one that I can find that's filled with courage. You're the only one that I can see that trusts in the fact that God is with us. Okay. The Lord is with you, you mighty man of fearless courage. Gideon stood up and said to him, If the Lord is with us, where are the wonders, the signs, the miracles that our fathers told us about? When that thing spoke to me in September of 1996, my whole viewpoint of miracles changed for another time. When God said to Gideon, Gideon, God is with you. Gideon stood up in the face of Almighty God because the Bible says it's the Lord that appeared unto you. Gideon said, if you are with us, I want signs. I want a token. I want a proof that will convince me that it's truly God that's speaking to me. Brother, that's bold. If God is for us, where's the miracles? Where's the signs? The very next verse says, Gideon, go in this thy might. I will be with you. Amen. Come on, church. Gideon, go. I will be with you. Because you challenged me on that statement. You challenged me because I've already said to Moses, the only way that people can know God is with us is by signs, wonders, and miracles. Now, I just said to you, God is with you. And you challenged me and said, now, where's the signs? Go, Gideon, I will be with you. Come on, brother. Signs, wonders. 300 people went up that mountain with lanterns, and they slayed a whole army. Power. I mean, Gideon went. What did he see? He said, okay, if you're really going to mean what you say, give me a sign. What is that? God, you said you were with us. Prove it. Tomorrow, I want that thing dry and I want the whole ground wet. Come, I want you to see it differently than what you ever saw it. If God is for us, where's the miracles? God said, go, Gideon, I'll be with you. I said, right, prove it. Tomorrow morning, I want that wet and I want that dry. God did it. He said, no, no, no. You said you were with us. Prove it. Tomorrow morning, I want that, that now dry and that now wet. This rof, this, this varachtig rof, the standing up and taking God at His word. God, your word says, with the stripes of Jesus, I'm healed. This thing on my arm, thank you. With the stripes of God, your word says, you are my shepherd and I shall not be in want. God, I'm in need of finances right now. God, your word says, I shall have peace that passes all understanding. At this moment of time, I'm troubled about this and that, so I want that peace now. No, but you can't say that, Kubis. That's what Gideon did. And that sign wasn't enough. That night he said, okay, now I want another sign. That's all right. I still want another sign. Then they went down to the river. 33,000 men he said, no, give me another sign. God said, okay, now I will really give you signs. Start getting the men that just bow down and drink water. Take that 300 Leave the 33,000 alone and I will really give you a sign. I will take 300 men and I will just slay a whole army. If you want signs, I'll give you signs. Amen. 
<risa> Woo! Come on, man. ¿Cómo están? I tell you, this is powerful stuff. This is powerful stuff. Bur, and your beasthead, and your eyes, and your evil eye. Don't you think it's time to challenge God on His word? This is not arrogance. This is not arrogance. This is not arrogance. God didn't kill Gideon. God gave Gideon the signs. Amen. Bro, as my week met you omgekrap is and I krijg nie kans om rechtig rechtig te wandel soos ek wil wandel nie. En ek besef ek is nie in gebit soos altyd nie. Ek het die bui geloos altyd. En en ek besef ek is hastig en ek krijg nie kans om my in te stem nie. Dan sê ek, Heere, wees nie vir my as ek daar kom dat daai ou daar wees en daai ou daar wees. Simplemente, Ha <laughs> Maar hier binnen sê iets, moe nie, ga nie. Nou is ek gejaagd, ek krijg nie kans om mooi ingetuned te raak, en sê, Heere, laat die kar nie staat, sê kan omklim. Hoe gaan hy nie staat nie? Hy is twee maanden oud, hy is brand new, hy het een ses jaar waarborg. Hoi, 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 Dankie Heere, kom in die huis. Het jy nie gerei nie? Uh-uh. My mama is jy nie gerei? Ja. Hoe kom het jy nie gerei nie? Um. Man, ek het vir die Heere een teken gevra, dat my kar hem geef my die huis leer, as ek sê wees hy kar staak. Hey man, wat het jy nie hier in die mou? Nee, waar het nie my vrou? Gloe my, ja, ek sê, draai drukkie sleerling. Hey, jy bly net hier. Jy rei nergens. Is jy bang om het te doen? There's books written against what I've preached just now. That you cannot ask God for signs and wonders. Don't ask God for signs. We are led by the Spirit. I said, yes. So was Moses. So was Jesus. So was John the Baptist. The Bible says he was filled with the Spirit before he was born. Led by the Spirit all the days of his life. And he said, are you the one? Go tell him. Oh, thank you. Now I know. The first sermon pre Peter preached to the heathen nations was the following message. I want to tell you about Jesus of Nazareth. How God anointed him with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil. The Bible says, and while Peter was yet speaking, the Holy Spirit fell on them all. God said, that was good enough, Peter, I'll take over. Yeah. The fact that you touched on the signs, wonders, and miracles, yeah. I'll take over, Peter, Amen. that's good. God filled the whole house of Cornelius yeah. with the Holy Spirit. 
because Peter went back to what Emmanuel meant. God is worth us. Just sit for one minute. One minute. Maybe two. Ek moet nie die enige gauw weer by sit. In Matthew 28 verses 18 through 20 the Lord Jesus Christ is getting ready to depart in the cloud of glory and he said to the disciples go make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost and lo I am with you all the days even till the end of this age go and preach lo I am with you Mark writes it a little bit different he says go and preach the gospel to all nations he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved he that believeth not shall be damned and to those that believed are the after they've been preached to and you went and they believed these signs shall follow them in my name they shall cast out devils they shall speak with new tongues take up serpents drink deadly poison lay hands on the sick and they shall recover and they went about preaching and God confirmed his word with signs yeah, right. signs, okay. wonders, and miracles that followed. Now this is the same story, but the two disciples relate a little bit differently to it. Yeah. Matthew says, go, preach, and I'm with you. Yeah. Mark says, go, preach, and signs, wonders, and miracles shall follow you. Therefore, Signs, wonders, miracles equals God is with If go and you preach I'm with you and go preach and signs and wonders shall follow you then the equation must work out. I am with you equals signs, wonders, and miracles. Or signs, wonders, and miracles equals God is with you. Who's sick? Who's got pains, aches, ailments? Stand up. See, sickers. Kom staan, ga je voor. Als je goed gezond krijgt. Sickness, pains, ailments, diseases. Let's fight with you, brother. Loop your monk. Is it David for us? She's here. Full snacks, yeah. I saw scheme at full snacks. What's he paying? Who's that? Rarach, brother. Rarach, weg. It's weg. A rechter. What was fout? Send for up in my. Ek het pijn nie om my lare gehad. Die dokters beweer dit is prostaatontsteking of kritiese prostaatontsteking. 
hier die stadium waar ek hier staan, het ek definitief geen pijn meer nie. Ek sê baie dankie, Heere Jesus. Ons seel hierdie lichaam. Hy is gezond om nie weer syk te raak. Kracht van Jesus, hoor jou. Bless hom. Sit om aan het sag, is in teer neer. This is powerful stuff. I don't go any further. Amen. And the Anna over begins to come with your prostate. Stand up. Come, you sit here so in your house. You know. This is you. Whoa. Whoa. This is how it feels like you're stuck. You see. so lekker slap ding hier in jou nek en jou skouwers ook so lekker ontspanning hier so af in jou nek, af in jou rug en hier soos oor jou blaie sê na, so die heren bring so lekker ontspanning daar so peace ek sal sommer lekker slap is wat die heren bezig is om te doen dankie liewe vader Wel, ek weet nie of jy nie geopereer gaan word, maar ek weet, jy gaan nie die sikkel. Daar sal geen nagevolge of enig iets is. Gezond. En die voete ook sal ook nie meer so, so moe gerag raak nie, ne? Ek sien die voete van jou, so brand onder en moe god. Is dit so? Ja, die heren is om getrouw, ne? Sê kai voete, die heren is te smaak, lus om nou gezond. Bless them, Jesus. What's wrong? What's wrong? You're Portuguese. You're Portuguese? Stomach. What's wrong with the stomach? There's no stomach. She had an operation on an ulcer. An ulcer. Have you got pain right now? Yes, I think so. Do you have pain? Do you have pain in the stomach? Yes, it's got pain. Pain all over? Yes. Ok, tell her the pain will go. As dores já vão, já vão ir embora. Uno, dois, três, quase, por favor, racha, racha, poxa. Ração. Yield. Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jesus healer. É. Gloria a Dios, ah. Where's the pain? Come on, church. You got pain? Okay. There it goes. Thank you, Jesus. Touch the lady. Set her free. Ah! What's happening? The pain is gone. Ah! The pain is gone. The pain is gone. Come on, let's give God the glory. I tell you, I better start laying hands on you because the power is too great now. I can't be out here now, can't still stand. So I'm just gonna. Whew! It's like a. Here. 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 Man. Man.
Where's the pain? No, my pain is finished now. You sure? It's just disappear. It just disappeared. <laughs> yes. It's supposed to disappear. Yes. Chesson. Chesson. In the name of Jesus from Nazareth. Your whole wees. Your whole house. Your whole family. Lekker, man. <laughs> Heilige narkose. Die hele familie, vader en drama nie op. In die naam van Jesus. Van, ja, allemaal van hulle Heere. Bless. Roep al die name voor God. Miracle power. Miracle power. Yes, roep die name. God raak hulle aan. Ja. Woo, in Jesus naam. Touch hulle. Ah, touch all of them. Heal in Jesus' name. Heal in Jesus' name. Gezond in Jesus naam. Gezond. 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 Wow. Bless die pastoor, jyre. Bless hom. Touch hom. Ja. Nou, Tanny. Die Tanny is nie 80 nie, sy is 88. Sy sê, 80 klink nie goed genoeg nie, 88 klink weer. Maak die Tanny gezond, liewe vader. In Jesus naam. Dat hier die hele lichaam aangeraak word. Heer, elke werwelkie heilige vader, elke seneweesie wat vastknijp, elke kussentie wat vergrys is, elke dingetie wat verkeerd gegaan het in hierdie werwelkolom, laat het nou in lijn kom, gezond is. Sy is nou eerst 80, Heere Mooses was al 120. 80, toe sien hy is die bos wat brand. My goodness! Toe gaan haal hy hulle eerst in Egypte, man. 120 te jumpen op die berg. Ja, Tanny, niks. Die Heere geef jou nie wat kracht. Op 85 toe hardloop Josh hier die berg uit. 95 toe sê Caleb, geef my die berg. Ja, joe. Gezond. Ja, daar gaat dit toe nie. Daar gebeur het. Miracle in Jesus naam. Daar is dit, Tanny. Kom ons staan op dan loop ons onder die krakkies, sonder om, en vergeer die stoel het, en daar gaat ons, daar gaat ons, daar gaat ons, dan die loop, ja, ek sal ons jou huis toestuur, daar, my god, veel aan my hemp af, al hy sweet, mag dit die laaste wees, in die naam van die Heer Jesus, sê vir die vrou, word gezond in die naam van Jesus van Nazareth alle arthritis verdwijn wat ook al hierdie sweetery veroorzaak of het nou bloedsuiker is, of wat het ook al is ons beveel hierdie lichaam word gezond van elke kwaal, elke krankheid in die naam van Jesus van Nazareth, gezond gezond, gezond, gezond in Jesus naam Anke Mike, sit, ons jy tjek bless haar goed, jyre Tja, liet voet op ons sien, oh my god, hoe lyk het so maar net so reg het. O, sy sê, die knieg en die rug gaan gelijk gezond word, oh my god. Die mense kan julle sien daar op die screen. Ok, ek verklaar dat Jesus Christus maak nou die rug en die knieg gezond. Daar gaan hy, oh my god. Daar gaan hy. Voel jy? Jy, jy sien my, my voel ook. Daar boe van sy nek af. 
elke verwel in die steekie, dier die jippe in sy knie, oe, die wil vader elke stikkie pijn gaan nou uit die lichaam. In die naam van die Heer Jesus, daar gaat hy. In die naam van Jesus van Nazareth. Elke stikkie pijn, elke stikkie Nou, zeg, kom maar. Hoe voel je? Iets gebeurt. Hè? Pijn is ook nog weg. Pijn is weg. Dit is fantastisch. Ja, vrouw. Alles wat angst is, en wat daarmee gepaard gaan, vrees, angst, spanning, los hierdie tempel van God uit. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. Dank u Heer. Raak sy brein aan, raak sy verstand aan, hy het die breinoperatie gehad, en hy klomp goed werk nie, recht nie, maar mag God hom nou aan raak. En alles herskip, en alles herstel. Wat een godelike aan. Ach broer, drink. Blessing. Blessing.